When it comes to struggling in the bedroom, there's one question that gets asked over and over again. Which pill actually works better, Viagra or Cialis? For millions of men dealing with erectile dysfunction, the answer isn't as straightforward as you'd think. Because the truth is, these two medications work in different ways, and which one is better really depends on your lifestyle, your health, and even what kind of intimacy you're hoping to have. Now, before we dive in, let's clear something up. Viagra is the brand name for a drug called Sildenafil, and Cialis is the brand name for a drug called Tadalafil. Throughout this video, I'm going to use the brand names, Viagra and Cialis, because that's what most people know them by. But it's good to understand that the real scientific names are Sildenafil and Tadalafil, and you'll sometimes see those listed on prescriptions or online resources. But here's the bigger picture. If you're watching this, chances are you or someone you care about has noticed changes in the bedroom. Maybe you don't feel as strong as you used to. Maybe it takes longer to get going or you're worried about staying hard when it matters most. You're not alone. In fact, studies show that over half of men over 50 will deal with erectile dysfunction at some point. And while it's frustrating, there are more solutions available today than ever before. Solutions that can help you feel confident again. That's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Not just Viagra versus Cialis, but the full picture of treatment options. So you know what's really out there and which choice might fit your life best. Erectile dysfunction isn't just about what happens in the bedroom. It's about what's happening in your entire body. At its core, getting and keeping an erection is all about blood flow. When you're aroused, your brain sends signals to the nerves in your penis, which triggers blood vessels to open up. Blood rushes in, pressure builds, and that's what gives you a firm erection. But as we get older, a few things start working against us. Blood vessels lose their flexibility. The lining inside them, called the endothelium, doesn't release as much nitric oxide, one of the key chemicals that tells those vessels to relax and let blood flow in. On top of that, conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, or even carrying extra weight can damage those blood vessels over time. The result? Not enough blood gets where it needs to go. And it's not just physical. Stress, poor sleep, lack of exercise, or even performance anxiety can make the problem worse. That's why erectile dysfunction isn't a one-size-fits-all issue. For some men, it's mainly physical. For others, it's more mental. For most, it's a mix of both. Understanding this is key because it helps explain why medications like Viagra and Cialis work the way they do. They don't magically create an erection. They improve the natural process your body is already trying to make happen. Viagra or Sildenafil is the original game changer when it comes to treating erectile dysfunction. It hit the market back in the late 1990s, and it was the first time men had a reliable option that wasn't invasive or complicated. That's why the name Viagra has practically become a synonym for ED treatment. Here's how it works. Viagra is part of a class of drugs called PDE5 inhibitors. Without getting too technical, PDE5 is an enzyme in your body that breaks down a chemical called cyclic GMP. This chemical is what helps blood vessels in the penis relax and open up so blood can flow in. By blocking PDE5, Viagra keeps more of that chemical around, which means stronger, longer-lasting blood flow when you're aroused. Timing is one of the biggest things to understand with Viagra. It usually kicks in within 30 to 60 minutes, and its effects last about four to six hours. That makes it a great on-demand option if you know you're going to be intimate. But there's a catch. Food can slow it down, especially a heavy meal. If you just ate a big steak dinner, Viagra may take longer to work or not work as strongly as you'd like. As for side effects, the most common are headaches, flushing, stuffy nose, and sometimes changes in vision, like seeing a bluish tint. These aren't dangerous for most men, but they can be annoying. The bigger concern is that Viagra can interact with other medications, particularly nitrates, which are often prescribed for chest pain or heart problems. Mixing those can cause a dangerous drop in blood pressure. That's why it's so important to talk with a doctor before starting. So, who is Viagra best for? Men who want something reliable, fast-acting, and who don't mind planning intimacy around when they take the pill. It's simple, effective, and still one of the most widely used ED treatments in the world. Viagra, or Sildenafil, is the original game-changer when it comes to treating erectile dysfunction. 
It hit the market back in the late 1990s, and it was the first time men had a reliable option that wasn't invasive or complicated. That's why the name Viagra has practically become a synonym for ED treatment. Here's how it works. Viagra is part of a class of drugs called PDE5 inhibitors. Without getting too technical, PDE5 is an enzyme in your body that breaks down a chemical called cyclic GMP. This chemical is what helps blood vessels in the penis relax and open up so blood can flow in. By blocking PDE5, Viagra keeps more of that chemical around, which means stronger, longer-lasting blood flow when you're aroused. Timing is one of the biggest things to understand with Viagra. It usually kicks in within 30 to 60 minutes, and its effects last about four to six hours. That makes it a great on-demand option if you know you're going to be intimate. But there's a catch. Food can slow it down, especially a heavy meal. If you just ate a big steak dinner, Viagra may take longer to work or not work as strongly as you'd like. As for side effects, the most common are headaches, flushing, stuffy nose, and sometimes changes in vision like seeing a bluish tint. These aren't dangerous for most men, but they can be annoying. The bigger concern is that Viagra can interact with other medications, particularly nitrates, which are often prescribed for chest pain or heart problems. Mixing those can cause a dangerous drop in blood pressure. That's why it's so important to talk with a doctor before starting. So, who is Viagra best for? Men who want something reliable, fast acting, and who don't mind planning intimacy around when they take the pill. It's simple, effective, and still one of the most widely used ED treatments in the world. Now, let's talk about Cialis, also known by its scientific name, Tadalafil. Cialis came onto the scene a few years after Viagra, and it quickly gained popularity because of one big difference, how long it lasts. While Viagra is usually done after four to six hours, Cialis can stay active in your system for up to 36 hours. That's why people call it the weekend pill. Take it Friday night and you could still be ready Sunday morning. Like Viagra, Cialis is a PDE5 inhibitor, meaning it works by improving blood flow where you need it most. But the advantage here is flexibility. You don't have to plan intimacy down to the minute. Instead of worrying about whether the pill has kicked in, Cialis gives you a much bigger window of opportunity. That takes a lot of the pressure off, and for many men, that peace of mind is just as valuable as the physical effects. Cialis also has another option that Viagra doesn't, a low-dose daily version. Instead of taking it only when you need it, some men take a small dose every day. That keeps the medication active in their system all the time. So when intimacy happens, they're always ready. For men in long-term relationships or those who prefer spontaneity, that can be a huge benefit. And as a bonus, daily Cialis is sometimes prescribed for urinary symptoms caused by an enlarged prostate, so it can help in more than one way. Side effects are pretty similar to Viagra, headaches, flushing, nasal congestion, but Cialis is more likely to cause muscle aches and back pain. And just like Viagra, it can interact with nitrates or certain other medications, so medical guidance is always important. So who is Cialis best for? Men who value flexibility, don't want to worry about timing, or who prefer a daily option that keeps things spontaneous. If Viagra feels too rigid, Cialis may feel more natural. Now that you understand how Viagra and Cialis work, you're probably already starting to see which one might fit your lifestyle better. And in just a moment, we'll put them head to head so you can see the clear differences side by side. Before we get into that, if you've found this breakdown helpful so far, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We've got multiple other videos on this channel covering different ways to treat ED. So if this isn't the perfect option for you, you'll definitely find something that fits. All right, let's line these two up. Viagra, or sildenafil, usually kicks in within 30 to 60 minutes and lasts around four to six hours. It's best suited for men who want a reliable option when intimacy is planned, though it does have a limitation. Taking it with food, especially a heavy meal, can slow down its effectiveness. Cialis, or Tadalafil, on the other hand, takes about 30 minutes to start working, but can last up to 36 hours. It's ideal for men who value flexibility and spontaneity or who prefer the low-dose daily version, though some men report more muscle or back aches compared to Viagra. So which one is better? The truth is, neither one wins across the board. Viagra is better if you want something fast, predictable, and short-lived. It's like flipping a switch when you know intimacy is on the schedule. 
Cialis, on the other hand, is better if you hate planning, if you want more freedom, or if you like the idea of a daily dose that makes intimacy feel less like an appointment. Doctors often point out that it's not about which pill is stronger. It's about which one fits your lifestyle, your health conditions, and your relationship. That's why many men end up trying both at some point before settling on what works best for them. Now, Viagra and Cialis are the most well-known treatments for erectile dysfunction, but they're far from the only options. And this is important because not every man responds to these medications, and some men can't take them safely due to other health conditions or medications. The good news is there are several alternatives worth knowing about. First, there are other PDE5 inhibitors beyond Viagra and Cialis. Levitra, also known as Vardenafil, works in a very similar way to Viagra and is sometimes a better fit for men who don't tolerate sildenafil well. Then there's Stendra, or Avanafil, which is the newest in this group. Stendra has one of the fastest onsets, sometimes working in as little as 15 minutes, which makes it appealing for men who want even less waiting time. Next, there are topical options like Eroxin Gel, which was recently FDA approved. This is applied directly to the penis and can take effect in a around 10 minutes. Because it works locally, it avoids many of the systemic side effects that come with pills, making it a good choice for men who can't tolerate oral medications. Another non-pill option is the vacuum erection device, which uses suction to draw blood into the penis. While it may not be the most romantic solution, it's effective and completely drug-free. There are also treatments that go deeper than just symptom relief. For men with low testosterone, hormone replacement therapy can sometimes restore sexual function and energy. And in cases where pills don't work, injectable medications like alprostadil can directly stimulate blood flow. These can sound intimidating, but they are highly effective for men who have tried everything else. And of course, lifestyle changes are a cornerstone of improving erectile health. Losing weight, Exercising regularly, improving sleep, and lowering stress can all make a meaningful difference. Some men also turn to supplements like L-citrulline or Panax ginseng, which have shown mild benefits, though they're not as powerful as prescription options. The bottom line is this. If Viagra or Cialis doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean you're out of options. From newer gels to hormone therapy to even non-drug devices, there are multiple ways to address ED and get results. While medications like Viagra and Cialis can make a huge difference, it's important to remember that they're not a permanent cure. They're tools that help manage symptoms. The real long-term fix often comes from improving overall health, because at the end of the day, erectile dysfunction is strongly linked to the health of your heart and blood vessels. Think of it this way. Your erections are like a report card for your circulation. If blood flow is struggling in the bedroom, there's a good chance it's struggling in other parts of your body too. That's why lifestyle changes can be so powerful. Regular exercise, even something as simple as brisk walking, improves blood vessel function and boosts natural nitric oxide production. Losing extra weight, especially around the belly, reduces strain on the heart and improves testosterone levels, which are critical for sexual health. Diet plays a big role as well. Cutting back on heavy processed foods and leaning more toward fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats can dramatically improve blood flow over time. Sleep is another overlooked factor. Poor sleep patterns lower testosterone and increase stress hormones, both of which make ED worse. And speaking of stress, lowering it through practices like meditation, deep breathing, or even hobbies you enjoy can help relax both the body and the mind, making intimacy feel easier and more natural. The point is, while a pill can give you confidence in the short term, making changes to your lifestyle can set you up for long-term success and even reduce how much you need medication in the first place. Many men who commit to better habits find that their erections improve naturally, their energy comes back, and their confidence grows in ways they didn't expect. So when it comes to Viagra versus Cialis, the real answer is this. Neither one is the best across the board. Viagra is great if you want something fast and reliable for planned intimacy, 
While Cialis offers flexibility, spontaneity, and the option of daily dosing, both are effective, both are safe for most men, and both can dramatically improve confidence in the bedroom. The right choice comes down to your lifestyle, your health, and your personal preferences. But remember, these aren't your only options. From newer treatments like Eroxin Gel, to hormone therapy, to even simple lifestyle changes, there are many different ways to address erectile dysfunction. The key is knowing that you're not stuck and you're not alone. There are solutions out there, and with the right approach, most men are able to get back to the kind of intimacy and confidence they thought they had lost. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss our other videos on ED treatments, men's health, and practical tips for getting your confidence back. And if you know someone who could benefit from this information, share this video with them. It could make a big difference.